how did we get to purple? He just like has the realization that like if I form a tribe, you can survive better. You can like if there's a predator, you have like more guys on your back, you know, that can like yeah, they, help you win. Yeah. Bands forming together. Yeah. Um, very like still very simple, uh, but it just kind of helps the whole survival situation. So there's a group of these human beings. There are different levels of ability in this group, aren't there? You know, we don't want the three-legged guy to run the uh, the hunting trip or whatever, right? And in the same way, we don't want the three-legged guy mentally to lead this this whole group because we want the whole group to survive. We want the most peaceful guy or the most mighty guy. And so the guy, that guy or the girl gets to the top and that guy will have the little girl will have a huge sense of ego of course i am the best and that's why i am here leading so we go on to the next stage which is red mm -hmm. red is very like uh, self-centered and it's still very primitive um, yeah. and it doesn't really have a sense of guilt so it kind of does off of its like own impulses it has like its sense of ego uh and it can think for itself in very like animalistic kind of mindsets i'd say we it, would have to like set some ground rules and like some yeah some laws it hurts our survival as a group to be chaotic to uh set some ground rules we just set some rules yeah. for this tribe which brings us yeah. to stage blue so yep. here we are psh, advancing further So Sage Blue is pretty cool because it can have like set in stone laws that everyone follows and we all agree on our good laws. And if you break those laws, then you'll have the certain consequence to you. Examples would be like laws in the government, laws in like a certain religion, like a religion and like governments. Like I have the best insert country here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be like a stage blue kind of thinking. Same thing with religion. We're getting into more familiar territory now. Mm -hmm. So we might notice our parents, our family members. The negative things of blue are, of course, all the negative things we get from order. We like to be free. It's necessary, but like we can't have it globally because it'd be like too much of kind of like a dictatorship almost. Mm. If the entire world was ruled by one country. Yeah. yeah. Why does stage blue go to stage orange? Basically, you have like some worker or some like religious person and they're like, why do I have to wait to die to be happy and go into heaven? Or why do I have to wait to retirement? Like, why can't I just like do the things I want now? Because my life is super important. And so it pushes away, like, the notion of the stage blue and, like, let's wait till the end for our just reward and takes it into, like, the now. Like, let's go out there and, like, build our empire. We're transcending up into orange. And so um, it still has these, like, laws and, like, these, like, fundamental concepts in its mind. So it kind of thinks a way around them. Wow. And yeah. If you asked, like, what's true to a stage orange person, it would, like, find the right philosophy to suit itself. Whereas mm. Stage Blue would just find the philosophy in its holy book, you know? It's very materialistic. It really likes money and, like, these very... A nice mm. car or, like, a, a fancy house and stuff like that. It doesn't really put a value on knowledge or emotions or love connection or something like that. It really just wants the money and the, the, yeah. like, the materialistic. As an individual, imagine we are in a Stage Blue society where it's just religion one person is in there and he's thinking okay this is great and all i'm getting all my food and stuff but i can thrive it's the same thing in the purple society dude i've got great i'm safe in this tribe but mm -hmm. hey i i can thrive here this is my life i may only have one am i gonna you know just be like everyone else or am i gonna go Psh! Become yeah. a billionaire. Most of us are in this stage orange where, hey, I want to get my project successful. 
success, success, success. But then we hear of millionaires and billionaires. They have amassed their millions and billions. They have amassed it all. They got everything they want. Mm -hmm. But they're not happy. Yeah, they're just not happy. Hmm. It sounds like a new stage is arising. Yeah. Stage green. Stage green. What is stage green? As we move up, orange is like very like materialistic and we move on to green and it sees like, why do I have to be so much materialistic? Why can't I be like more like emotional, like um, and like more human oriented instead of like yeah. material and like service to self. Now we're, we're moving service to other people. It's called the human bond V meme, I think. And it just like connects with other people. Like a good example is like a hippie. Like mm -hmm. he's very engrossed in a stage green. You could even say that the hippie is more advanced than the businessman. Because yeah. the hippie uh, has that realization and he knows himself better. Hard pill for the orange to swallow. From the point of view of stage orange, the previous stage before stage green, they have no idea how these hippies could be in any greater happiness than them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm in my B&W and I'm driving past all these hippies in, in this field. They're all smoking weed. Dude, what? How are they surviving better than me? I got all this money. How are they surviving better? But then, mm -hmm. like I was saying, they get to a point, the stage orange, where love comes into the foreground. Mm -hmm. Dude, I need to enjoy my life, you know. I'm just amassing mm -hmm. objects. Yeah, it's like you have the whole mansion and you have like six Bugattis or whatever, but you have like no friends and you're working all the time and you're just like crying consuming coffee and on your laptop um yeah. and it's just like there's just no like the heart is just really closed if you'd like no chakras at all like the heart chakra is just like really closed you don't want to open up to anyone and you have like a realization like oh my gosh like like emotions and like relating to other people is great and it makes me feel like i'm not in this like constant battle of fighting mm. for myself and trying to win we're all on the same page instead of like I'm going to see you as a competitor. Let's see how you duke it out in the field or whatever. You know, green is all like, why can't we just all get along? If you're at a stage orange mindset, you'll be like, well, that's not how reality works. We we have to like, we have mm. to have business and we have to work. Green has the realization that like, this isn't going to like fulfill me. Like I can go down this rabbit hole, but I know that this is like the wrong thing to do. But then again, orange is good for other things. Like if you want to build a rocket ship to the moon, like stage orange is like oh, the yeah. way to go. Yeah. Um, stage green is just gonna like talk and talk about feelings and like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean that's all good too. But uh, if you want to like build a business or something and like get stuff done, you know, um, mm -hmm. that's like a good thing for orange. And if you want to like fight a dragon or something, that's a good thing for red. Uh, so that's one of the limitations of green, isn't it? Just too much talking, you know. Uh, ideas it's all great i love it let's save the whales but guys let's all integrate let's integrate and uh think in systems yeah how can we build systems using our prior orange knowledge we can build we can succeed ourselves how can we take that into a group setting and achieve all of our green goals the, the values that we picked up in green because the, the benefits are clear of green fulfillment and just love right mm -hmm. sure and spread that across the world and across mm -hmm. the tribe now we move on to stage yellow yellow emerges within someone like a community or a country and it has like the realization that like i really like connecting with humans and like um just like having more friends and more emotions but the whole end of the spiral doesn't so like a green person likes a green person but if you put an orange person and an orange person together in a room they're going to see each other as like competition as we can move up the spiral our love expands and our judgment decreases green has such an open heart and it really wants to help people because it's a service to others it just like wants to help just because it wants to strive for harmony and like less suffering in the world so it has the dilemma of like 
geez, we have all these other stages. It doesn't know this. It doesn't know Sprout Dynamics because Sprout Dynamics is a yellow concept. Man, we could like strive for harmony in so many different ways, but no one else wants to see our worldview. It realizes like, oh, there's other worldviews and we need to strategically think how can we work together and like what are some good things from this person, stage blue, and what are some good things from this person, stage red, um, and how can we integrate? So yellow likes systems, it likes cause and effect um, chains, so like it can like see things in the future. So if I do something to so-and-so, and they're at a stage orange, they might do something to so-and-so at a stage green, and there wow. might be a conflict there. So yeah. I need to like package my requests in their worldview in a blue box or in an orange box. Mm-hmm. So it agrees with their worldview, and there it, it has like less ego attached to it. Because it's like yeah. it's transcended the orange beam meme, which is like very materialistic, and and it transcended the green beam meme, which is more like harmony. So it doesn't have to like prove anything. It studies philosophy. It puts like a high value in philosophy, and it like really wants like all knowledge to be free because it just likes devouring books and different perspectives. And this whole like spiral dynamics model is a stage yellow way of thinking. Turquoise, for me, the words that come to mind are spiritual enlightenment. All throughout this spiral of human evolution, individual and group, there has been this sense of I. In the stage turquoise, we question what the I means. What is referred yeah. to as I? Yeah. Now, sprout, this thing over here, we say, I'm going to turn this into a cult. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to. I'm trying not to know. I stands for infinity. The word I stands for infinity. The short word. So it's a holistic, holistic thinking. Oh. Yeah, 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 dude. That's cool. I like that. Say turquoise people would be like Jesus. Yeah. And that's yeah. how turquoise sees the world. Whoa. Yellow sees the world as like, um, like systems and... Uh, cause and effects and turquoise sees everything all at once in the audiobook um he talked about turquoise as having this like antenna of like higher consciousness like maybe you could call this that pineal gland or something i'm not 100 percent sure but it'd probably be like a start so basically it can like connect to higher consciousness which can like connect to things globally all at once yeah so like intuition is like extremely powerful for turquoise um and it it's basically like transcended it's probably has like a few of these like advanced consciousness yoga states like um like samadhi controlling like life force energy and other things about turquoise magic we first encountered magic in purple turquoise we go way into like the mental and the mind consciousness yeah. Yeah, it, like, really just, like, understands. Like, instead of, like, conceptualizing, like, we could think about uh, a tree all day. Turquoise, it can, like, touch it and, like, walk yeah. outside and, like, look at the leaves or something and, like, pick it up. It's a bit more, like, um, less, like, airy-fairy, you know? Green can be a bit more, like, airy-fairy. We're talking about, like, feelings and, like, maybe a little bit of consciousness work. Green really look, looks up to these turquoise people. Yeah. But when you're at stage turquoise, it's like very tangible, like this consciousness mm. and um, like probably being like empath- empathic and stuff. Like yeah. You can like literally feel someone's emotions or like see their aura or something like that. These very like supernatural abilities. 